Do you use UV resin? If so, I've got something that's going to really impress you and be a game changer and allow you to get a lot more done in a session. Are you like me? When you make earrings or jewellery using moulds, then you use a mould this size and then your lamp or your torch is this size and you've got to cure that bit, then that bit, or you've got to move your torch around and you stand here for five or ten minutes moving it around and you still end up with sticky spots. Well, if that's you and you want to be a lot more efficient, then hopefully this is going to be the beast for you. This is the new UV lamp by J Diction. It's a large size, it's super powerful and it's eye friendly. There's full instructions on the back here. The cord that comes with it is actually a little bit longer as well than the cords that normally come with them which is such a relief for me because I'm always having to move my resin about to match the length of my cord and look how lovely it comes. It is a 60 second or 180 seconds so three minutes cure time and it's USB controlled. Now if it's out like anything else from Jdiction then it's going to be a great quality and I need to make some earrings because I've got some shows coming up getting towards Christmas I know it's August but we're thinking about Christmas already so I'm going to make some earrings and I want to get some quite a few sets already done some I'm going to do with the clear like this and I'm using the low viscosity resin at the moment because I can always dome it afterwards and these are the types of things I like to do so pop a little bit in of your UV resin into a separate little jug get some resin colors these are always transparent you need to use transparent pigments when using resin because you need that uv light to be able to go through the color and that's important and this is a nice powerful light so it's going to give you a nice quick cure no oh, i don't want black in there do i yeah let's use ruby red that should be enough quickly mix that in for your uv resin and then all i'm gonna do is Drop some bits in it, this colour. I do love this technique for UV resin. I'm using these little micro brushes with the tips taken off also really is a great way to get your resin into where you want it. Now, you can leave it like that if you want to. I don't want to leave it like that. What I'm going to do is go through it like this all the way around, going through the centre of each one. There we go. Now I'll leave that like that. And because I don't have to cure that up yet, what I can do is just move on to the next one. And for instance, I'm going to make two pairs of these earrings. And for this one, I'm going to use the high viscosity because I want it to be a little bit thicker. And I'll have to make these in separate because I only have one of these moulds, which again is a bit of a pain in the bum. And for this one, I'm going to add stars to it, some glittery stars. Push them down. I will link everything in the description below, so don't worry. You will easily be able to get hold of anything that I'm using today. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people that got me a coffee last month as well. Because it's people like you that allow me to go off and buy these sorts of things and demonstrate them and keep making these videos which i love doing you give me the opportunity to live my best life and i cannot tell you how much i appreciate it so thank you and the same applies to my members i'm sure everybody in my members group will tell you what a great time we have and how useful it is and we've recently done a live stream on setting up a business and no any questions can be asked live stream and there were some brilliant questions asked and I've recorded that and that is available to watch if you remember. So check out the memberships in the link below. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fill these up and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next and how this lamp hopefully is going to be amazing. And this is another technique that I like as well and I thought I'd share this with you. And that is I've got some clear resin there and all I've got is these plastic clear gems and they kind of disappear in the resin but they leave a nice little pattern afterwards if you put enough of them in. And you can buy these so cheaply. And these are really good sellers as well. People love these. There we go. So that's those filled. Now, if you want to, you can do a different technique with those as well, which I'll show you in a second. Let me just fill that one right up. These are just ideas that you can use. Again, I'm using the low viscosity because I don't want it to move those gems around. And the thicker one may move them around a little bit. We've got a little babble. Get rid of that little babble. 
And again, I can carry on working and know that I'm going to be able to cure all these up together. So the other technique is I'll do it on this one here. Fill it up like that. Put my gems in, making sure I've got them everywhere. And I don't mind how many of these I make because I know I will always sell these. Okay, so when you've got that cram full like that, take yourself a little pot. Pop a little bit of that UV resin in there as well. Not too much. Don't need much. And then get yourself some alcohol inks and just drop a drop of alcohol ink in. You might need one drop. You might need a little bit more than one. And mix that around. Note that should be enough. And this is the magenta I'm using here. And then all you do is you add this onto top of this UV resin like that. Because you've added the alcohol, it's made it a little bit lighter. And what it'll do is it'll fall in and kind of go around the edges of your crystally bits that you've put in. There we go. So I'll leave that now to carry on soaking in. As I said, I'll finish off the rest and then I, we can test out that light. So I've got those all filled up now. Didn't take me long. And all I've got to do is open my legs. On my legs either side of those moulds. And quickly push the... 180 seconds and apparently this will scroll through three times 60 seconds so that you can if it's cured before you can turn that off and i think that should cure those really really well if so that is going to make a massive difference to me and my productivity so that's had it's three minutes now so i can take that off wow they are lovely and cured not at all sticky now whenever i cast in a mold like this i always once the front is cured Either turn it over or lay it flat and cure from the bottom for 60 seconds. Unless it's a completely clear mould and I just don't have any of those. It's had the 60 seconds and these should all be ready to demould now. Yeah, they're lovely and cured. Oh, that is going to make a massive difference for me to be able to bulk cure stuff. And if you dome these up as well afterwards using the high viscosity resin, then you get a great finish on them. But I don't always dome all my pairs of earrings. Some I do. And let me show you this one, how this one comes out. Look at that. See, that comes out lovely when you pop that alcohol ink or colouring around it. And it's such a simple, easy way to make things look beautiful. Some of these are quite deep as well. So they were cured up very, very well. So I was able to cure all those up in one go, both of those moulds in one go <laughs> work brilliantly. If you use UV resin, I would definitely suggest you get yourself one as well. I'll link it in the description below and if I've got a discount code for it, I'll link that as well so that can help you. But it's not expensive, which is great. I'll also link the resins I used as well. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next, as I said before, the one on doing the comparison between all the top brands of UV resin. It's a really interesting video. You'll be really surprised at the results that I got from using them. Links to everything in the description below. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.